नेक्स्ट यू हैव सेड नो माइंड नो थाट नो एक्सपीरियंसिंग जस्ट नेचुरल इंस्टिंक्टिव रिस्पॉन्स प्लीज नो दैट इवन द इंस्टिंग आर माइंड इंस्टिंग्स डू नॉट कम फ्रॉम एनी वेयर एल्स whatever you will call as your natural response will always play out through the mind there is no way to express yourself without using the channel called mind yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. how will you express without the mind so it is not about getting rid of the mind it is not about not expressing it is not about not experiencing it is about then a different quality of mind it is about then experiencing without the experiencer and these are two very different things saying do not experience you have put the listener in an impossible situation if he does not experience he will not experience even your words he cannot hear if he does not experience he is not to whom are you talking then guru ji says you are not the body you ask sir to whom are you talking then yeah. and if you are talking to the absolute why are you looking towards this body You talk into this mind. You see, hmm? So Rajesh is sitting there on that chair, hmm? Or George, or someone. And the teacher says, "George, you are not the body. If I am not the body, why did you turn your head towards this object?" <laughs> yeah, it's like it. It's so. <laughs> What is this object that you are now looking at and addressing? <laughs> it's so reasonable. <laughs> and if I am not the body, sorry, sir, I did not listen to you. Yeah, I'm not mind either. <laughs> Because if I am not the body, then there are no ears. Yes. Ears. I did not hear what. Did, what did you say? I did not hear. I'm not the body. <laughs> sir, I don't see you. <laughs> and I don't see you <laughs> because I have no eyes. I'm not the body. so do not get into these <coughs> obvious stupidities hmm experiencing freely is very different from not experiencing at all be open to total experience which means that your own prejudices your past your fears must not be allowed to block your experiencing that is experiencing without the experiencer hmm which means that if the breeze is wonderful or the beach is lovely or there is a beautiful rainbow hmm or if there is an occasion to be immersed in love your fears your insecurities must not stand in the way of experiencing all that fully do you see this and don't you see how that we that which we are our sense of iness prevents us from experiencing hmm as a hindu you may pass by a church or as a christian you pass by a temple and if you are a by god then you will not be able to experience the sound of the bells and the sound of the temple bell is enchanting so is the sound of the bell in the church but you will not experience it do you do you know what i'm saying you you won't may be even register the sound such can be our incapacity and insensitivity you won't really have any real heartfelt feeling for it hmm that is what is meant by 
experiencing as an experiencer. Now I experience only that which I am supposed to experience. And beyond that, I do not see anything, I do not feel anything, I do not touch anything. That is limited experience. We live in that. We must not live in that. My child, if he sneezes or coughs, I experience, I identify with his pain. The child on the street, the beggar's child, he might be shivering of cold. He might even be prepared to die. I hardly experience anything. This is called limited experience. Your experience is now so self-centric. This is what is meant by experiencing as somebody. As somebody. Total experience means being fully open to that which keeps coming to you again and again. totally experience, you must keep your ego in check. In other words, to totally experience, you must have a very pure ego. Your I-Self must be submerged, surrendered. Only then you can totally experience. Getting it? Is this in our capability to like um, sideways with the ego? Is it in our capability that when the experience is in front of the mind? You see, what does the ego want? Ego wants more experience, right? Yes. How can the ego get more experience if it remains stubborn and limited? So you don't really have to fight the ego. You just have to see that what the ego wants comes to it only through its own surrender. It's in the ego's interests to surrender. It is not an imposition upon the ego to surrender. You don't have to tell the ego, you better surrender. You have to advise gently to the ego that, see, sir, there are a few things that you want. You will get those things only if you surrender. That's the wise thing to do. Yes, of course. If you fight the ego and if you use violent language with the ego, the ego only gets tougher. Hmm? You must show to the ego how its own welfare lies in surrender. surrender. 